guys welcome back to my channel we getting it into that b-day slay yeah i'm camel Crow. if you ain't know it's time for the base cake show <laughs> all right y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new what's up my name is camel Row. if you're not welcome back love you all right good job there so as y'all can see in the thumbnail today we are talking about how to create <laughs> this bomb behind look I'm only gonna give y'all a tutorial on how to do the eyes. Now, if y'all wanna see a face tutorial, y'all gonna have to get back with me. Y'all gonna have to get back with me. Comment below, let me know if that's the type of content you wanna see. But today, we're getting into this cute Valentine Day eye look, which I am in love with. If you like this look and you wanna see how I did it, stay tuned to get to subscribe, because y'all know I need y'all to subscribe and hit the notification button whenever I put a new video up so you will be aware and i am so sorry that last week i did not post no video for y'all i was sick sorry you know i'm trying but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get into the video so i'll be right back Bye. hey guys what's up we are back getting ready for the valentine day spit oh, oh. look i'm singing why i'm singing out there on the actual camera don't mind me because I'm be singing the whole thing. So we're going ahead getting into our eyes. You know we prime with concealer, of course. So I went in with the NYX HD primer and then I went on ahead and just patted it in, blended it on out, you know, made it look all clean for our palette. So now we're gonna go ahead with a burgundy shade. I use the James Charles Morphe palette and I basically use that for majority of the look but i also use the nyx so right now we're using the james morphe but you can pick any burgundy shade that you have and just pat it on this is how i start off any of my blending i pat it on make sure that we get that color on there and then once i get it up to the crease and i got it where i wanted to go as y'all can see um i forgot a very vital step which was putting this darn tape on now y'all know that y'all gotta put tape on because that's what gives us our seamless edge if you don't then you gotta do this which don't nobody want to go back and have to do all of this when they're done with their makeup so i usually always make sure that i put tape on so that it gives us that seamless you know look but if you don't only thing you gotta do or if you forget like i just did go back clean it up put your tape on then clean it up with concealer and then you go there you go so with that burgundy shade after i packed it on i'm starting to wing it out a little bit just to kind of create like a wing effect in the crease so it just gives that's just like i just i just did it like i it wasn't planned so that's why i went so now we're going in with a hot pink shade i actually mix the nyx and the james charles they have i used the nyx ultimate palette and then the james charles morphe they have a hot pink and i mix them together and now i'm just patting that on there right above that burgundy and as you can see you just make sure that you pat it in you kind of blend it out and you keep patting it on until you get the color that you want to get don't be worrying about how all these other people do makeup it's just how you want to get and to clean up those edges and to kind of blend them out from being so harsh i got a tapered blending brush and i went on ahead and i just blended out those edges so that whenever we went to the next shade it was a lot easier to blend in yes baby blend cam blend blend cam and then i went back in with that pink and just blended in the burgundy and the pink so now we're adding a very light pink i went in like i said with the morphe so in, in the james charles palette that's the pink that i use it's a light pink so it, whatever light pink you have just use that and very lightly blend that in because you don't want it to you know be too harsh like right now you see that little line that we got that's not cute so only thing you do is take that pink that hot pink shade that we had earlier and just go in very lightly and just blend out that line so that it doesn't look so harsh and it blends like a perfect little rainbow and only thing we're doing is going in back and forth motions and small circular motions and i'm barely putting like any pressure like any pressure on this thing like i'm literally just going and i'm blending out and it will look like that y'all y'all see that work 
Y'all see that word? Ah, ah. <laughs> All right. So we're going in with the fetish palette. I love this palette, y'all. Oh, my God. I love it. I got to get another one because I'm, I'm about to hit the pan on this pink highlighter, which is what we're going in with now to get our, you know, arch highlight. Get that eyebrow highlight because, you know, it just pulls your face back and it makes your eyes look a lot bigger. And if you go too hard like I did, one thing you do is get that light pink shade or whatever shade that you choose and you go back in and you blend it out so that the highlight just seamlessly blends so now i took a dark purple shade and i packed it on to the outer wing to just make it more dramatic so that you can actually see the wing um with the burgundy it kind of like you know went away with me adding all of the pinks and stuff so i just took that and then i just created the wing with it so now we're going in with our lux doll chunky glitter y'all i love this guy dirty glitter like i love it love it so the key to doing chucky glitter is to go in with a shimmer so you gotta put your nyx primer of course because any shimmer on the nyx or any glitter on the nyx primer is the bomb.com and we're going in what the aussie beauty as y'all saw i'm gonna go in with that palette with that rose shade which is a pink shimmer in a sense it's just a hot pink shimmer and you're going to make that the base for your chucky glitter the reason why you want to do that because with chucky glitter it has like little spaces in it which you'll be able to kind of see later so you want to kind of already give it a shimmery or glittery type of base so that it still looks like you know it's all part of the same thing like you know you don't want it to be like oh okay like i can see that glitter and it's not blended baby so you know roll out so right now i just carved out with the nyx primer i carved out my crease and then boom i put that on there so now we're about to go ahead and start putting on the chunky glitter so i have a fine hot pink glitter which came with the bundle that i got from luxie um doll they have a they have a packet where you get 15 different glitters or whatever the case may be and it's like for 25 dollars which is the bomb.com because you usually you don't use a lot of glitter like even when like you're doing looks like this you don't use a lot of glitter like you think you would so it actually lasts a really long time so i'm going in with the fine hot pink going ahead putting that on the outer corner not covering up our wing but just putting it on there look 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 get it together cam okay boom so we're putting it on there just packing it on there the way that you want to pack it on there so i'm just packing and packing now we're going in with the chunky glitter so as you can see it has like little shapes in it my size i think they're like hectagons octagons i'm not sure it don't have eight sides so it's not octagon. <laughs> but we're going ahead and we're putting that right over that fine pink and they're the same color so actually like if i ran out of like the fine glitter that was inside of the chunky glitter i could just put that in there and the key with chunky glitter is to actually place it the way where you want it to go so after you put it on there get you some tweezers and then place it how you want and then you know it'll look even more better so now we're going to go back in with that aussie beauty pink shimmer just kind of blend that on now because we kind of lost it and i just did this to be extra honestly like this was last minute and then I went on ahead and added like a real, real light shimmer from the James Morphe palette just to kind of brighten up that inner corner. Now I'm going back in with that dark purple, just blending out that glitter with it and making sure that it's still there. And then I took that fetish highlight that we used for our eyebrow arch and I went on ahead and I put it in our inner corner. And after you do this, I mean, you just put your eyeliner on, you put your lashes on and that's it. It's a wrap. All right, y'all. So what y'all think? Oh, yes, like slay, slay, girl. Oh, hold on, hold on, get your anyway but it's slay slay like yes and girl all this is off the dome as y'all can see whenever i was doing it because i did not plan this i thought we was gonna be doing a yellow look that didn't happen so boop. here we are with our valentine's day number three look which i am in love with it but i want to thank y'all for coming watching being with me you know mingling all that good stuff thank y'all for coming next time i see y'all will be the next time